From the outside, Matt Reif's star may seem to have risen quickly. However, he'd been doing things to harm his career long before he got his big break. Love him or hate him, edgy comedian Matt Reif has been in the comedy circuit for almost a decade, and he gained major popularity in 2022 when one of his sets went viral on TikTok. Did he not have a job the entire time you guys were together? He did. He did? He worked in the ER? Oh, I'm sorry, you broke up with a hero? <laughs> After that clip hit it big, he captured the hearts of fans everywhere with his quick remarks and chiseled jawline. Before long, his phone began to ring off the hook with offers, and Jimmy Fallon even featured the comedian on his late-night talk show. In that interview, Reif explained that if it wasn't for TikTok, he may have given up on comedy altogether. He reflected that, for the better part of a decade, the challenging nature of the industry had taken its toll, and he was having a hard time finding work as a comedian. All of these things just weren't adding up, but at a certain point you go, am, am I delusional? Like, may maybe I'm not funny. Maybe I'm not supposed to do this." He went on to recall that the night he posted that notorious TikTok, he was seriously considering not putting it up at all, as he was feeling particularly discouraged at the time. However, with some encouragement from a friend, he published it and the rest is history, for better or worse. Matt Reif opened his infamous 2023 Netflix special with a joke about domestic violence after recounting that he went to a restaurant and the waitress was sporting a black eye. I feel like if she could cook, she wouldn't have that black eye. Reif went on to crack a joke at himself for opening the show with a domestic violence gag, though he still caused many fans to erupt with anger on social media. As one fan tweeted, he stole some pretty seedy jokes on TikTok, but I feel like one of the things you never play around with is domestic violence or rape jokes. There are 10,000 ways to be funny, and those are not one of them. Others commented that he was pandering to a male audience with the bit, which in turn caused strife because it was largely his female audience that helped him gain popularity in the first place. Despite the accusations, Reif told Variety, "...I wanted to make this special for everybody. I pride myself on making my comedy for everybody. It's not for a specific demographic." If people were expecting an apology, they were sorely mistaken. You know, it sounds like y'all don't know me at all. He stoked the fire even more after posting an Instagram story that encouraged fans who wanted him to apologize to click a link that led to a site that sold helmets for those with special needs. Unsurprisingly, this act generated even more negative headlines. With Reif's behavior now under a microscope because of his Netflix special, he went from being a well-liked funny man to meeting heavy scrutiny for his past and present actions. Reif was no stranger to this, as he found himself in hot water back in 2016 when old tweets from 2012 resurfaced thanks to a cyber argument he was having with comedian Brandon Wardell over X, formerly Twitter. Wardell helped reveal old tweets that Reif had attempted to delete, which included Reif using homophobic and racial slurs and making light of serious issues. Reif was quick to remind everyone that he was 15 years old at the time, and he is in no way racist or homophobic. Still, many didn't know who Reif was in 2017, and much of his notoriety back then came from the fact that he was dating Kate Beckinsale and did a few episodes of Wild and Out. I can't come to the phone right now because I'm busy having a dream that someday some white boy that looked like Vanilla Ice will do an impression of me on TV. Reif clearly didn't learn his lesson, as he was in hot water once again in February 2020. He joked that everyone at the Oscars was, quote, watching to see if the cast of Parasite coughs. It was a reference to the deadly COVID-19 virus, which hadn't quite made it to the US, but was spreading rapidly in China. The cast of the Oscar-winning film is from Korea. Kate Beckinsale is not only a gorgeous A-list actor, but judging from her social media, she appears to have a great sense of humor as well. When she first began dating Matt Reif in 2017, aside from their 22-year age gap, they seemed to be a great fit. Keeping their relationship under the radar, the couple split after a year. When Beckinsale began dating another millennial comedian, Pete Davidson, in 2019, TMZ caught up with Reif outside of a comedy club to see if he had any tips for Davidson when it came to dating the star. Staring into TMZ's camera, Reif unapologetically stated, "...run." Reif added that their relationship was complicated and had many ups and downs, and when asked if he'd ever get back together with Beckinsale, he barely had to think before answering in the negative. Although it took him almost four years to realize he probably shouldn't have said those things, he did eventually apologize publicly in a video for Elle. Pete, if you're out there, sorry I said that. Kate, I also apologize that I said that. I shouldn't have said that. 
While he was a guest on the Stiff Socks podcast with comedians Michael Blaustein and Trevor Wallace, Reif made headlines yet again for an offensive discussion specifically about women. While most of the podcast could be considered misogynistic, one particular segment was especially inappropriate, as the three comedians made some very unsavory comments about female genitalia. In response, Metro UK featured scientist and sex educator Zoya Ali, who commented on the effects that these conversations have on women. Questioning why conversations about women's bodies and how their worth is connected to their appearance continue to be normalized, Ali observed, Billion-dollar industries thrive on capitalizing on these insecurities by promoting products like vaginal tighteners, whiteners, and fresheners, promising to make one's genitalia normal. Every vulva is unique, coming in various shapes, sizes, and shades. To add insult to injury, one of Rife's former flames, Brooke Schofield, stated on the Cancelled with Tana Mojo podcast that his insults seem to describe her anatomy specifically. He goes on to say that he... Um, is disgusted by Audi vaginas, like girls who have Audi vaginas. A lot of Matt Rife's criticism derives from those who believe he takes his female fan base for granted. Many believe that women are why Rife became popular in the first place, as he's conventionally handsome in addition to funny. Rife even named his self-funded 2021 comedy special OnlyFans because his fans literally made the words Matt Rife OnlyFans a popular search on Google. While a professional decision like this might suggest he's embracing his handsome reputation, if you go down the rife rabbit hole, you'll see quite a few bits where he claims he doesn't enjoy being attractive. I'm good looking. <laughs> I don't like it any more than you guys do, okay? This is not good for comedy, okay? Possibly as a result of his angular face, Rife has been questioned about whether he's had lip filler and jawline enhancement. However, he has only come clean about getting veneers, which is quite clear as he looks radically very different in episodes of Wild and Out from the period before he got famous. On a 2015 episode of Wild and Out, Rife did less than impress as a young comedian trying to make it in LA. On the improv comedy game show, host Nick Cannon puts two groups of comedians against each other as they compete over a series of challenges. Each comedy team is led by Cannon and a celebrity guest judge. And one week, the role of guest judge was filled by none other than Zendaya. Throughout the episode, Rife was prompted to make several cringy cracks at her expense. Look, you're mixed. I want to be black. Let's make a lifestyle movie. As Rife made silly advances for her number, Zendaya was a great sport, but she certainly looked uncomfortable during various scenes. Her discomfort was so clear, in fact, that other comedians noticed as well and called Rife out for his behavior. Since the internet never forgets, once Rife's Netflix special came out, this awkward clip made the rounds once again, and many people were stunned. As one ex-user stated, Had I known Matt Rife was the same guy on Wild and Out that touched Zendaya's face, I would have instantly hated him.